Both XLM and XRP are poised for a phenomenal couple of years. And if you go and look at the charts right now, I think things are getting very, very exciting indeed, especially if you understand the latest news that's coming up for XLM and XRP. But one of these coins is a far better investment than the other, in my opinion, and I'm going to tell you exactly why that is in this video. So hit the like button and let's get into this video. Now, guys, after a couple of weeks of a massive drama in crypto, we saw XRP winning its lawsuit case against the SEC, which is obviously massive, not only for XRP, but also for crypto in general. XLM as well has benefited off of the back of that. But there's something really, really important that's going on with both these currencies right now. And if you've been around in crypto for a little bit, then you'll understand what it is. It's the Fed and now instant payments that's coming up at the end of July this year. And there are a few tokens that will fit in and be used by the FedNow service. And those are the ISO 20022 tokens, which stands for the International Organization of Standardization, standard for exchanging electronic messages on payments data between financial institutions, including internationally. That's very important because of both XLM and XRP, what they represent. Cryptocurrencies that are ISO 20022 compliant or in the process of becoming compliant include Ripple XRP, Zinfin Network or XTC Algorand, Stellar Lumens, as well as IOTA. This is a massive for both XRP and XLM and obviously the other coins as well. But why it's so significant for both XRP and XLM is we know one thing that is very key to understand about these two coins. And that is very clear if we jump back and look at the chart. And this is XRP on a weekly chart. We can see that over a period of time, we never really saw from peak to peak a huge amount of growth for XRP. And that's because it's been quashed or any chances of massive growth were quashed by the lawsuit because it made it a riskier asset than perhaps it was initially. And we know that XRP is going to be now starting to move and do some amazing things. XRP responsible for cross-border payment solutions, replacing things like Swift payment systems, which have been around since the 70s. We're also seeing that with XLM, but XRP within an institutional model. I also think that we look at Quant, and we looked at that yesterday in a video, which I'll link to the end of this one. So make sure you check out that Quant video because it's important as well to understand what's going on because Quant, I think, can work alongside with the likes of XRP and XLM, feeding into that overledger platform. Now, we know and we have known for a long time that cross-border payments have been problematic, especially within larger institutions and organizations. Often those payments take days when they can be done instantly, pretty much, through the use of XRP. And XRP, we can see, has had a really exciting run towards the upside in just the last couple of weeks. And we'll look at shorter terms of these charts in just a moment. Now, before we look at the charts and where we sit on both XRP and XLM, I want you to understand a little bit more about why XLM is probably my choice over XRP. I'm sorry to anyone who's a complete like XRP enthusiast, because to be honest, you shouldn't be because you're emotionally involved in the cryptocurrency, but that's a discussion for another day. XRP currently market cap sat at $41 billion with a B. That's a damn big number, okay? For XRP to increase, which we are seeing it doing right now, is much more difficult than XLM. Something else is important is for the XRP tokens to be taken out of supply with large quantities of money. You are saying like well, institutional transfers of cash is much larger than the individual, which I probably obviously would agree with. But on a flip side of things, does it take as much out the circulating supply in ratio to what's taken out the circulating supply in the XLM network. That's very key to understand because we want to reduce the circulating supply while the demand goes up, given that we are going to see this start to be used quite readily around the world. And as well as that, we're going to see crypto bull market at the same time. This could be a perfect storm for both XRP and XLM. XRP's market cap, however, is massive. Can't see it moving quite as much as XLM for that reason as well what i just talked about with regards to the supply now in contrast xlm sits with a market gap of 3.7 billion dollars and you can see that today xlm is up at 9.3 percent while xrp is up merely six percent still six percent is pretty big still okay so as well we know the stellar lumens is going to be used in a similar way we know xlm stands to benefit hugely from the implementation of fed now something else is hugely important xlm is going to have a huge impact on people moving around the world 
this is really important as someone who also moves around the world myself, it's becoming more and more obvious that more people around the world are starting to move to different countries, whether that be as a digital nomad, whether that be to go and seek better employment in another country, whatever that is. And cross-border payments have been a real pain up until now. If something comes in like this and gets used hugely readily on a daily basis, at the same time that we're getting a bull market coming in, guys, it's gonna be absolutely huge for Stellar Lumens. Why I like Stellar Lumens over XRP is nothing to do with the tech or anything like that. It's merely on the fact that we've got a market cap of $3.7 billion in contrast, which is more than 10 times smaller XRP. Okay, which is why we're gonna see bigger growth in the Stellar Lumens. And as you can see from what I talk about, I'm not overly technical in what I do to learn about projects and things like that. I just understand whether we're gonna see good use cases of things coming in, what the demand is like, what the hype is like, and XLM also has incredible hype on YouTube, which I've talked about in previous videos. So where are these coins going? Very good question. If we jump back to XRP, you can see obviously we had that massive breakout from this uh, rising wedge. Uh, we're not gonna see much looking into this on a weekly chart because you can see that we are running into uh, this area of resistance uh, on XRP, which is around 89, uh, 89 cents. We'll just turn this red so we can have a bit of a clearer view of it here. And you can see that we did kind of spike all the way up here. Now that spike there is a very good, uh, like 26% higher uh, than we got a pullback on. Now, because this all happened so quickly, you can see that we have pulled back. Now, many people will tell you, and this is also true, that we can sometimes get pullbacks to the top to retest these patterns. Now, given the way the market is moving right now, unless we see a significant pullback in Bitcoin, which I'm not sure if we're going to, I think people are anticipating it, but I do think that that's potentially we're going to see a spike down and we're going to push again. I actually yeah, would be surprised if XRP comes hard back. Now, I could be wrong, guys. This is just what I'm assuming to be the case right now from what I'm looking at. Now, if we zoom into a four hour, we could see something a little bit clearer in terms of what we got as a setup. Now, as you can see, quite obviously, we are now working again in some form uh, of a rising wedge. You can see the top of that there. Now, whether or not this is able to break beyond this high and put in some pattern like that, I think if it does, an XRP is going to be pushing quite aggressively very soon. Now, obviously, we should have all been buying or theoretically been buying in here. Now, I told you that I actually wasn't buying a huge amount of XRP in there because it still was before the court case. And yes, that did mean that I missed out on a big piece of this move. But so what? Okay, there's always another day to make gains like that, especially as we move into a bull market. And the next time you jump into a massive move like that, maybe you'll get absolutely wrecked. Okay, so I stuck to my rules, didn't get involved in XRP, but we saw a nice pullback. And since that pullback, if you were patient enough to kind of identify this buy zone here, and currently you could be sat up around 13%. Now, if we are breaking uh, this high, I think we need to kind of wait really to see if we're gonna get a break. What I will be looking for is a break and a retest of this level of 81 cents. So what I'm looking for is a push higher, breaking a retest of 81 cents because at the moment we, there's always an equal chance pretty much of breaking lower down here now obviously this later on will be a good opportunity can we see something a bit clearer on the xlm chart now what we're seeing on xlm chart is actually much clearer to me okay because we have a slightly healthier looking pattern than we had on the xrp chart now what you can see is after this pullback we get a very obvious uh, area of interest on XLM, which sits uh, here around 12 cents. And you can see that we had a solid buy zone. Now, if you were in my inner circle discord, which is linked down below, it's just $9.99 per month. And you would have identified this buy zone after we saw this spike out, we got a pullback and you, along with the guys in there, would have been able to buy XLM and currently be sat over 10% up rather than getting in after these big pumps like everyone else is doing. Inner Circle Discord is linked down below. Something else that's really, really cool that's happening in the Inner Circle Discord right now with the launch of the Venture Capital Fund that we are running together where we're pooling cash to enable us to get into top tier blue chip projects. We've just secured a deal with a project that's also being invested in by Polygon as well as other massive names. And you can get into that through the Inner Circle link down below before the ICO. That enabled me to get into Tenet, where I bought at two cents. And from just two cents on the very first day, it went all the way up 19x. So if you want to be able to get in pre-ICO, then get into the inner circle, guys. $9.99. 
five day free trial as well. Now, what is going on with Excellent that's absolutely huge is we have put in a double bottom. Okay, so we've got our buy zone, which we established here, and then we put in a, a double bottom here. Okay, one, two. Now, what's very interesting is we broke beyond, we come back to retest, and you can see we're finding support at this level. Now, I would anticipate from here uh, that XLM is about to push uh, another uh, good chunk all the way up here, which would be about 10% push. Now, you're like, well, that's no big deal. But given what's happening later this month and the way the rest of the crypto market is shaping up right now, I'm not sure how much or how many other opportunities we're going to get to buy in at these reduced rate levels for both XLM, XRP or any other cryptos out there. And that's not financial advice. I'm not telling you to buy those coins. I'm just telling you I'm buying them. I've told you why XLM I think is a better option than XRP. Let me know down below in the comments. Do you think XRP, XLM? Always keen to hear your feedback. But one thing is for sure, in the future, we could see XRP really rallying. I'm thinking three to five dollars. Now I've seen many people tell me fifty dollars. Could have a market cap that goes beyond Bitcoin. Who knows, guys? Okay. What well, I'm looking at XRP and XLM right now is an opportunity to maybe 3x, 4x my money and then start to move my cash into other cryptocurrencies, which I will be doing later on in the bull market as we move towards altcoin season where we get the smaller caps starting to push. That's the exciting time and that's why you should be subscribed so I can tell you exactly what I'm buying when I'm buying it. Hope you enjoyed that, guys. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.